What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Clams. I'm Will here in Key West. Uh, we're headed out on the boat today. Aaron's getting some stuff together, and uh, we just got to talking last night, and we were uh, very eager to have a sushi night. So we're going to go out and search for uh, some sushi fish. We actually got some nice weather on either side of today. It was super windy, meaning it was windy last week. Tomorrow, it's supposed to start going down, down, down as far as uh, how bad the wind's going to be. So we're going to get out there today. Um, I think the mission is go catch bait and then go catch some fish and then make enough sushi for an army. So let's get moving. Okay, so first things first, we gotta get bait. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw the cast net, unless you want to throw the cast net. Yeah, I guess I'll throw it today. Okay, probably a better idea, you know. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, we're up close against the beach and uh, gonna hunt, hunt down the pilchards. Where there's one pelican diving. Oh, cormorant, no, leaving the party. But the, uh, the water is nice and murky, which makes it a little hard to spot bait. I'm just going to blind one. I can't see anything. Let me look for them flipping, but they're not flipping. Not looking good. Got what you wanted? I don't know if it's enough of what I wanted, but I got what I wanted. They are diving on the proper baits. I gotta wait until I get far enough away. I turn my live well back on. Without sucking up all the wood. <laughs> More than we had. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, we're getting there. All right, we didn't we didn't crush it in the bait department, but I think what I'm gonna do is throw some artificials so that we can reserve some of our bait. We got probably what'd you say about 40? Maybe 40 or 50. In there. Maybe 40 or 50, which sounds like a lot, right? But as you're getting picked they go off, really quick. Yeah, you get picked off by a small fish. They go pretty fast. But uh, like I said, I'm gonna try throwing artificials for a little bit and see if we can reserve some of our bait. So I don't, I don't think I said earlier what we're actually targeting. I just said sushi fish, um, but we are targeting yellow jacks and that's why they go absolutely crazy for live pilchard. But once you get them turned on and they start going, then you can throw an artificial and they'll just, once they're turned on, they'll bite anything. And actually what's funny is the way that this started was uh, watching, I don't know if you guys are uh, subscribed to uh, Zach Freeman's channel, Real Fresh Fishing, uh, that's R-E-E-L. Um, he just put up an episode where he went out for Ciro mackerel, which is an incredible sushi fish. And it just got in my head. And all I need to do to get Aaron to go is just mention the word sushi. And let it and let it sit for a little while. He said, <laughs> and I quote, "If we go catch yellow jacks, I'm gonna make a plate of sushi so big there'll be no room left on the counter." <laughs> I did say that. So yeah, now I we just now we just gotta catch them. <laughs> <laughs> so. I'm not going home without them. <laughs> so we're anchoring up, and uh, yeah, like I said, gonna start with uh, live bait and then switch over to artificial. I got. Do you have? Uh, oh, you got a little got weight. A tiny little I got no weight. Oh, 
There we go. <laughs> oh, snapper? It's off, whatever. Oh, and we're back on. And we're off again. <laughs> what do we got here? Yellowtail. Yellowtail snapper. Keeper size, actually. <laughs> We're not keeping them though. All right, so like, like we said earlier, that's exactly how fast the baits can go. We're not after Yellowtail, we're after Yellow Jack, so he gets, gets to go back. Yeah. This is also not a pilchard. No? <laughs> yeah, that's what I had. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see what it does. Oh, it's mackerel. mackerel? Yeah. There we go. Oh, I got mono on. That's all right. You're professional. What kind of mackerel? It looks like a zero. All right, all right. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh no. Told you. Oh, he didn't even spin it either. Or didn't cut it. Oh. That's a bummer. <laughs> oh, oh, there we go. No, sir. But whatever it is, is small. Very small. <laughs> Probably another yelltail snapper. I'm confused as to what's happening here. Oh, there we go. Got him out. Got him out. Any bets on what it is? Oh, stealing my spot. Snapper. <laughs> Another snapper, huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. I think he's coming home. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Yellowtail, yellowtail sushi? Why not? Gosh, they are a beautiful fish. You say it like I don't catch all good ones. <laughs> oh, okay. So these guys got to be 12 inches. Pinch tail. This guy is well over. So we're good to go on that. But man, they are pretty, pretty fish. And the meat is white, almost a little bit mushy. So that's why it'll actually be good if we let him rest for a day and do sushi with him. He'll be perfect. Uh, I think another snapper. Let's see, let's see. Yeah. <laughs> another halfway decent one. Alright, two of these is enough. He's the last one coming with us. I decided we had too much bait. Get rid of it. You gotta have some freebies out there so they <laughs> know to come and get fired up. <laughs> See, I'm getting little taps, which I don't want because Yellow Jack would just take it a run. They ain't shy. No, I think I uh, might have got robbed. Either got robbed or mangled, let's see. No? Yeah. Still okay. So there was just nothing happening over at that other spot, and I think Aaron was getting a little sick of me out fishing them. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so we've moved spots. Uh, we're gonna throw the anchor and get back to it. We're running out of bait. You're on your own, Mr. Joe. Oh, <laughs> I see. Oh. <laughs> uh, if you guys want a big book of fishing charter, hit up Zach Freeman at uh, Real Fresh Fishing. <laughs> oh, look at them all. No way, no way. All the yellow jacks? No. A whole school of them right on the surface. Stop it. All right. <laughs> you. Are you on? Yeah. No way. Suck it, Will. Who's got that TV? Nice. <laughs> <laughs> all right well oh they're right here i don't even have to oh my god dude and i'm on 
them are, some of them are bar jacks. Oh, uh, don't say that. <laughs> Perfect. We don't. I was hoping a power boat would run right next to it. <laughs> am, I, am I pointed towards you here? Are you on screen? Maybe. I don't know where you are. Whoa. Here, can you see? Brain and bleed. How far out were you casting? Don't worry about that. <laughs> this is the worst charter. <laughs> Oh man. Dude, there was like a hundred there was some bar jacks mixed in, but there was like I'm gonna say a hundred, but there was realistically like Well they were up at the boat. Yeah, they, when... were, they were chasing all that bait that I threw out. Ah. I was telling you the line oh we drug a little bit. Oh now you're casting on that side? <laughs> that was, but I'm coming over on this side. Barracuda. No, it was broken up high, like it wasn't cut. See, I made the joke about out fishing you, and now I jinx myself. <laughs> All right, throw it, throw out a couple more baits. Uh, Come on! <laughs> the problem is, I'm in the wrong spot now. I'm sitting on top of it. I want to be off to of the side. Let's move. All right, so not over the rocks. To the side of the rocks. That's what you're telling me? Yeah. <laughs> well, I feel like I'm on the side, no? But okay, if I if I cast this way right here, I see it. So how am I gonna get to the side? Other side of the boat, I see how it is. Other side of the boat, this guy. Yeah, see? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Key West's most popular fish. Yep. Very rare. Very rare. That's it. You spooked the school by catching one of them. So I switched over to artificial, but this is a bar jack. Yeah. Oh, he's angry. He's mad because not only did he get caught, but he's got an artificial. It's not even something worthwhile. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so that's what I was using, just a little paddle tail. Oh! Oh! Mackerel! Cut it? Nope, but he oh, took... cut the tail off. Look at that. <laughs> oh, what do I have that I could get... get a mackerel with is the question. Well, they're not liking what I got on now, that's for sure. That bar jack was chasing them. <laughs> I don't want a bar jack. I already got my PB bar jack today. <laughs> Something small, yellowtail. Man, today's a yellowtail day. I didn't know. <laughs> they got wise right now, huh? Yeah, kind of unbelievable. They're not even chasing the bait. Back to the drawing board. A little bigger, a little better. Something like a jack, maybe? A bar? Yeah. Bar jack. They're monstrous. All right, bar jack sashimi. <laughs> I mean, if you're going for a sushi fish, it like, depends how you want to do it. They just have no taste. They That's the only thing. You dress them up. Yeah, they have zero taste. Another yellowtail. How are they getting to it before the? I don't. This is this is yellowtail smackdown today. All right, free tying. We've missed we've missed a couple of uh, mackerel just due to not having wire on, which is a bummer. I feel good about this one. Yeah. Kinda. You should. Yeah. <laughs> I do though. I do. Oh, that was a mackerel because it just cut the line. Unbelievable. No, it didn't. It just came off. That could be something good. Ah, oh, trying to sabotage me. 
I just want sushi. I don't care what happens. <laughs> You're good. Just fight your fish. I will get it untangled. Well, uh, whatever it is, it's small. You got your drag set at toddler? <laughs> Taking no chances, all right? What do you think it is? Uh, what is that kind of? You have no idea. <laughs> it's... <laughs> What? <laughs> Pretty decent mangrove. Yeah, keep him. Yeah. Keep him. All right. I think I think we're doing a snapper sushi. All snapper. Well, and one yellow jack. That's a great mangrove. Oh, I almost lost them. <laughs> I hope it's a blue runner. Another yellow? Oh, that's a beefy one, too. Okay. All right, super secret snapper spot. All right, we're, get, we're getting down to super slim pickings. I think we got about three baits left. Oh, we're going to catch more bait. <laughs> Listen, I'm not the captain. I don't know. <laughs> you got a fish? What'd you got? Oh, my God. You hacked it. <laughs> That came on the reel up. What is it? A mackerel. Is it a mackerel? <laughs> oh, we gotta get it in the boat. <laughs> we can't miss another mackerel. Get the net. <laughs> get the gaff. Get something. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> mackerel. All right, this is one of my favorite fish. All right, I am I am more than satisfied, and I got my mackerel. That's, whoop, and I lost my rod into the water. Here we go. It's just mayhem right now. <laughs> All right, these are now. Hang on. I do love I do love Spanish mackerel more than anything, but zero mackerel is an incredible sushi fish. Um, they got these razor razor sharp teeth. Let me see if I can get them up there to show you. Yeah, and that's why. Oh, watch your toes. They keep All right. Off. <laughs> All right. So, gonna brain and bleed. Put that guy in the box. But we are really coming up with a crazy mixed bag today. It's kind of fun. It's actually very fun. So, zero mackerel will have the long yellow lateral line and lateral dashes. Uh, Spanish mackerel is gonna have yellow dots. But Again, the whole reason that I was eager to come out today is by watching Zach Freeman's video where he was out and he was just smashing uh, Ciro mackerel and Spanish mackerel and that's what got it on my mind. So if you want to watch that video, head over to Real Fresh Fishing. Um, Zach's awesome. And thanks for your ins inspiration, Zach. I got my mackerel. I'm happy. All right, we're on another bait run. Aaron is determined to get yellow jacks. <laughs> I, just, I just love them. <laughs> um, I'm very content with what I got, but I will always fish a little bit more. Um, so we see oh two pelicans. Gosh, look at all, the bait. Oh, all right, we got a lot of bait here, so we'll see you in a little bit. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy cow! It's everywhere. <laughs> Throw the net. <laughs> Gotta load the net. <laughs> and they're gone. Put me in. No, I'm in neutral. This is it for all the money. Piss it because I'm going to throw it to the wind, but that's okay. Alright, neutral. It don't matter. <laughs> it don't matter. There we go. You should do this for a living. That is plenty. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going back fishing. <laughs> we it was a small intermission. Now we're headed back out with plenty of bait. It's gonna be on. Now we're catching a yellow jack. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
bad at all. That's not bad at all. That's a big mackerel. <laughs> that is a tank. Oh man. I don't think we need that much mackerel. I, do you want to grab lock it? I might be gone for a week. <laughs> Just in time. Is it in the transom? Yeah. Nice. Hold that thing up. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that explains. Look at those teeth. That explains how I've lost two lords so far. Let me try and get. Wow. Let him Off he goes. Day. Well, this is nothing short of fun. <laughs> I've already I've already lost a couple dollars worth of lures. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go one more. Switch spots, got tired of feeding the mackerel <laughs> all my lures. Um, just threw bait in and yellow jack explosion. So we're going in, hooking live bait. So guys, believe it or not, this is what we actually came out here for today. <laughs> was uh, was this guy? <laughs> nice old yellow jack. Oh. No, nope, not getting away this time. Oh, <laughs> oh my! <laughs> you just throw our yellow jack in the water. <laughs> Listen. Oh no! <laughs> This was a pride mission, and you just threw my pride right back in the water. <laughs> this is this is how good of a fishing day I had. I'm just throwing them back. Wow. All right. I can't wait back to, to it. I can't wait to watch that back. <laughs> what do you got? Acting kind of jacky. I don't know. Well, yeah. It's the exact one that I just let go. I wanted Aaron not to feel left out, so I put him back in the water so he could catch one. Yeah. <laughs> There's the moose yellow There's... What? <laughs> 10 feet of water, like what? Okay. <laughs> All right, to make up for my blunder. Well, he's not in the boat yet. Dude, that was the slowest hit. He didn't run. I didn't know he was on until I started reeling. Well, he's wrapped in my line too. Perfect. <laughs> well, with the way my day is going, I'll probably lose him. Come on. <laughs> wrapped in your line. <laughs> Come on. Look at them, there's a school of them. All right, come on, you gotta get them in the boat here. Oh. All right. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not taking the hook out this time when I show them off to the camera, though. <laughs> That's actually a nice one. This is a nice one. I also don't want your hook in my hands. There we go. <laughs> right. Hold that fish like a fish. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. Good lord, I got a yard tail going on over there. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Finally. Yellow Jack. Yellow Jack. I told you I always find the fish. <laughs> Dude, it was a weird bite. He didn't run. He just, just ate it. it and sat there. Yeah, look how deep the hook is. Wow. He swallowed it. All right. Brain him first. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Unless we get into something crazy right now, I'm going to call it here, and the next time I see you, it'll be in the kitchen. I just needed a little bit of redemption after throwing that one over the side. <laughs> see you soon. So even though we caught a plethora of fish, um, really a lot of fish, it was amazing actually. Uh, Aaron and I were talking about it, and we're just so funny. I think we're spoiled, you know? Like, I realized what a great day we had, and uh, how much fishing we we got done how much different types of fishing too um, but what I want to focus on is yellowtail snapper it's not my favorite fish I normally throw it back I don't target it um, I feel that the meat is a little bit mushy um, even if you rest it and take care of it the meat tends to be a little mushy and it's not my favorite thing to cook with but I've never cooked with it on the channel so we're going to today, and we are going to utilize 
We're gonna use the fact that it's mushy to our advantage. And we are going to make some spicy uh, yellowtail snapper sushi with it. I'm trying to go real nice here because we're not gonna get too much off of these uh, fillets. Cause even a legal yellowtail you got that whole tail to contend with. I actually made it to the other side of the rib cage, but that's okay. Yeah, it's just not my favorite. It's a little bit on the mushy side. It's a good fish, don't get me wrong, and it is definitely Key West's most popular fish. You will see this on every menu. It's just not my first choice. But what we're using it for today I think will be amazing all right clean these guys up and we'll get in the kitchen I think also because these fillets are small on here and you know we're gonna utilize this uh, this rack as well so we'll make maybe a little miso soup or something to go with because I did I gutted them on the uh, on the boat so they're nice and clean I had already taken the uh, gills out on the boat so yeah I think we're gonna we're gonna make miso soup with those. And since I'm gonna use, utilize the, uh, utilize the racks, I'll show you how the charter guys clean these because when you catch them, you catch so many of them, they don't really have time to clean them. So you just make that first cut and then go all the way down through the rib cage, angle your knife down. There you go. And then while it's still attached, now I don't tend to like to do it that way you do get a clean nice fillet as you see but you leave a bit on the fish because you're going over you can only get so far down but like I said because we're gonna use these racks I don't mind leaving that little bit but we are gonna get rid of the skin there but that is the charter boat way of cleaning fish because time is money <laughs> so while I'm out here I can chop up the yellowtail so I'm gonna chop it up into very small dices see it's so mushy that's okay that's okay but we're gonna make spicy yellowtail snapper so it doesn't need to be chopped up very, very fine because it's mushy. <laughs> I keep saying about that and then slicing more, but <laughs> you get the idea. However fine you want it, that's how fine you can go. But I want it about the size of like BBs so that it's not complete mush, but that it can kind of hold its shape if you squeeze it together into a, a patty or something. Okay, into the bowl, and we'll chop up these the same way. Now for our spice, we have a little bit of gochujang. This is a chili paste. It's got a bit of sugar in it, uh, more so than sriracha. So it's a little bit, little bit on the on the sweet side. And then I have sambal which is just another <laughs> a different kind of uh, chili paste but this one I like that it's got the chunks of uh, chili and we'll mix that real nice and we'll put this into the fridge we're done I was gonna add a little bit of salt but we're actually gonna make a um, an eel sauce to go on top and that's plenty salt salty so I don't have to uh, don't have to do that but there you go that's it all right let's make that eel sauce so for the eel sauce actually very very simple we just have soy sauce I forgot to take the little plastic out so this might take a minute okay a little bit of seasoned uh, rice cooking wine. It's uh, mirin. 
and then a uh, spoonful of brown sugar. And we're just gonna cook that down until it gets a little bit syrupy. Take it off and let it cool completely. So I'm up to a boil. I'm gonna reduce this by about a quarter and then pull it off. And while this is reducing, we're gonna get our broth started, started for the uh, miso soup. So while this is reducing and before we, uh, before we start our broth real quick, I'm gonna make uh, spicy mayo. So all that is, or at least a cheap way out, is mayo. We could start this debate again. Dukes, QP, Hellman's, what do you say? Tell me. And sriracha. So I do pretty much equal parts. Give it a stir. And there you go. You got spicy mayo. So if you ever go into a store and you see that bottle of spicy mayo for $9, don't do it. Because this is it. All right, our eel sauce is thickening up nice. And look at that. So we can actually take that off the heat. And we're gonna put that in a container and throw it into the fridge to completely cool down. But that is, that's gonna be good. For our broth, very, very simple. Throw our fish in there. A Little bit of sea salt. And once that starts cooking just a little bit, I see a little bit of steam. I'll add water. We're not adding anything else to this. I just want pure fish broth, uh, like I did with the blackfish in another video. Just a very simple, but it's one way to make that miso soup really taste really, really good. And you're utilizing the entire animal. All right, I see a little steam coming off of there. Now we add water. Now bring this to a boil, down to a simmer, let it go for an hour and a half, and then uh, I'll add everything in to make the miso. As our broth is uh, simmering, you just want to skim all the scuzz off the top. And all that is is actually protein from the fish. It's nothing nothing bad but can make your your broth a little muddy so every once in a while I'll come through and skim and after this goes like I said for about an hour we will uh, strain that So in our strained uh, fish broth, which actually took on a kind of cool yellow color because of the because of the fins of the fish, uh, we're gonna add. This is uh, kombu. It's dried dried kelp. This is uh, bonita flakes. So it's just dried dried bonita. That's Benito with an O. And we'll let that simmer for a little bit and then we'll add the, uh, the miso. All right, so this has been steaming for a little bit and we'll pull out the kombu and the bonita. It's okay if a little bit stays in there. I'm not trying to strain at all actually. But that's perfect. Okay, now we're gonna add some nori. Normally this would be a different kind of seaweed, but this is what I have. Okay, now we're gonna add some soft tofu. And we're gonna do it real gentle so that it doesn't fall apart there. Give that a little stir, let that all heat up, and then we're gonna add the uh, the miso. Okay, now we add a spoonful of miso and let that dissolve. We'll give that a stir every couple of minutes until that's completely dissolved. 
and that's our miso soup. All right, so miso soup is steaming. I'm gonna make the uh, spicy yellowtail in a second. Rice is almost ready, but in the meantime, we're starting to slice up some of the sashimi. We got stuff for rolls. Aaron seared a piece of uh, yellow jack. Ooh. <laughs> and we got, wait, what? what's happening over here? <laughs> Getting a little piece. <laughs> Busted. All right, well, <laughs> we also got some stone crab, but you guys are gonna see everything. But like I said, we're gonna focus on the uh, yellow tail. I'm gonna start rolling those in a minute and then we'll show you the entire spread. All right, so Aaron bought a new fancy uh, rice cooker. Just call it experience. <laughs> it's called $160. In $160. <laughs> yeah. But, but it, makes you, it makes perfect rice. Okay, but you have this down to a system. Tell me what you're adding. Um, just like homemade rice vinegar, which is okay. brown sugar, uh, regular rice vinegar and a little bit of kombu you boil it mix the burn down the or cook down the sugar and then you add the kombu and let it kind of cook and there you uh, go you can store it i made it a couple you can see it's kind of getting in the bottom there but made it a couple weeks ago and it, it holds well so you add that into there mix it up cool it down you got sushi rice all right so one of the things i just quickly made i uh, just put cilantro lime a little bit of olive oil and uh, garlic salt in the blender and that's going to be one of our uh, dressings for some of the sashimi. All right, so in the bottom of each bowl for the miso soup, we're going to put in some fresh scallion. And that we'll put in the bottom of the bowl like that. So when you pour in the soup, it heats it up a little bit and spreads the flavor throughout. Okay, so these are all three ready for the soup. Okay, so what I'm going to do, a little bit of water. Get your hands wet. And we get a nice pinch of rice. Roll that into a ball. And then flatten it out. Take a little spoonful of our spicy yellowtail. Might need another one flattened out. Roll them into a ball like that. I'm gonna try to go a little bit smaller than that. We'll see if they'll get they'll get better as we go. Okay, what I found too is if you kind of squeeze the uh, the yellow jack together and then fold up the rice around, you can use a little bit less rice. All right, we took care of some other things. Now we can get back to dressing this. So I have the eel sauce from earlier. And a little bit of this goes a very long way. So just a little bit of a drizzle. I have some chives here. Put those on top. Then we have a little bit of spicy mayo. Hand that back to you. <laughs> and furikake, which is nori, sesame seeds. A little bit of salt and sugar. A little more eel sauce. You guys even ready to see what's going on up here? <laughs> here we go. <laughs> I said a counter full of sushi. You did. All right, let yes, me put let me put up the soup and we will sit down. All right. So if you remember, we got the scallions in the bottom of the bowl there. Right. Move 
these over to the counter. All right, so we got seared yellow jack with yuzu koshu. We have Ciro mackerel that has sesame, orange, chili paste, scallions, our miso soup. We have our stone crab. I'm not even gonna go into this. <laughs> <laughs> we got something over here. These actually all have the uh, spicy yellowtail inside of them. Hopefully you can, can see in there. Then that is that cilantro lime dressing and that's yellow jack serrano peppers. This is green apple, sumac, and goat cheese. And then those are our spicy yellow jack rice balls. So we are gonna sit down and dig in. <laughs> yeah. Get that chair out of here. Yeah, I'm not in a yeah, chair. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, is, this, is that chair. this is like a competition. Oh, we're going to bleep that out. Oh, we're filming. <laughs> I don't even know. All right, I'm going in on one of the yellowtail. Uh, You're just going in hand? I'm going in this I'm going to go in hand, yeah. Oh, okay, we're starting together. <laughs> this was the featured dish. Oh. This was the feature. The yellowtail. The spicy, creature spicy features. Balls. They might fall apart a little on oh, your <laughs> Oh no. Mmm. Mm. Oh yeah. Wow. <laughs> yep. Mine's stuck together. Yeah. Oh, well, it's like perfect. All right. All right. Perfect. It fall apart. Hold on. Hold one of those up to the. Oh yeah. <laughs> no. Spicy yellow cow and fire. Wow. There's a lot of rice, so I don't want to fill up. We have to run while we eat to keep the <laughs> keep the momentum going. The digestion. Mm. Mm. Okay. That's good. We should go into the soup first. Okay. okay. Hold on. Hold on. Um, <laughs> I love that. In true Madeline fashion. <laughs> take a bite, put it back. I'm getting. I'm gonna get it. We just don't have plates. Pass me a, uh, a spoon, please. Oh, you're okay. Savage. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> so it's actually yellowtail racks. It tastes exactly and better like when you go mm. somewhere hibachi. Mm. Like way better. Wow. Okay. Well, and you used the racks to make the... To make the broth and then made a dashi after. You gotta teach me how to make this. Holy what? moly. Oh mm. my goodness. Mm. Alright, okay. All right. I can live with that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. So I promised Aaron that there would be a counter full of sushi. <laughs> so we did, you know, and, and what's crazy is that we didn't even keep that many fish. What is this? Three yellow jack? Two yellow tails and... I a zero. Zero? Yeah. It wasn't like we sank the boat in fish or anything. Mm. No, and trust me, there's a lot of fish still in the fridge. This isn't even everything. Oh, but, yeah, we still have like yeah. three fillets or something. Yeah. So, I, again, just to show you, at the end of the fishing, like, you know, when we start throwing the yellow jacks back after finding them, that's why. Because look at this. <laughs> it's insane. Wow. This All soup. Right. The soup is incredible. We need more friends. Yeah. No, I don't have <laughs> to share. This is too good. <laughs> All right. I'm going to end the video here, and we are going in. Actually, Madeline, I want you to eat one of these, because that I made for you. Oh, I thought you did. <laughs> okay. That's the goat cheese sumac green apple. So wow. That should be very, they're so beautiful. Very tart. Mm. <laughs> I'm not shy. I'm going in. Sorry, guys. Yeah, don't be shy. Get in there. Oh, my goodness. All right. Mm. <laughs> well, all right, guys. Whoa. Thank you for coming along. I have a feeling this video is gonna be like three hours long, but um, <laughs> it was worth it. It was a hell of a day of fishing, um, which is funny because we, you know, I said it earlier that we were like, ah, oh, it's a little tough fishing. That was a day that someone that came down to Key West would absolutely <laughs> rave about that day of fishing. I mean, we were throwing poppers at cereal mackerels. We were catching yellowtails. We were catch. I, we caught everything. Yeah, <laughs> it was pretty good. It actually blew Aaron's hair off his head. Oh, yeah. It's gone. <laughs> was like, so much wasabi. <laughs> we, didn't, we don't even have wasabi. I got now. me a new husband first Holy weekend. Cow. All right, guys. I will see you on the next one. <laughs> we'll see ya. This is incredible. This green apple goat cheese. Mm. Oh, my gosh.